You may be asking yourself, why am I starting on some random dirt trail? Well, the reason is this is a map mod that is huge. And we're going to be doing some climbing and some going over rocks. And right now, none of the differentials are locked. So let's try to make it up in low gear with just rear wheel drive. So let's see how fast we fail at this. And right there we failed. So let's just put it up into four wheel drive. And there we go. Keep in mind, they are on open differentials right now. Which means if one tire has less traction than the other tire, that tire will get all the power. The tire that has no traction. Now let's just go over that. We are in low gear. I took off the front sway bar so that there's more articulation. And simply go over that. And that too. Let's go in the first person for a second. It's a rock right there. We just now went over. And let's go over this tiny rock right here. And I'm gonna just put it in the first gear. So that I can keep some high RPMs. Whoa. I think there's just like enough power right here to where like I could make it do like a tiny bit of a wheelie. Yeah, kind of. Let's see, so let's do some stuff to make it really articulate. So let's go on that. And then you see here how that tire has no traction but and that there is traction but there's no power going to the wheel. And in the rear, that is the only tire getting. So I'm thinking I get this the only tire in the rear that's getting power. So I'm thinking if I just lock up the front, I can probably get over this. Okay, looks like I've got it. let's try the rear, just the rear. Okay, let's try both now. Okay, I think we actually might be beached. Nope. Now let's just try and floor it out of here. And... Once again, it was kind of a fail. Okay, we can cheat a little. Let's just pull it off of that. And... There we go. And that's how you make it over stuff. I'm just going to keep the differentials locked, and I didn't mean to come at this thing, so I guess I'm going to have to go. Okay, I'm going to try and... Okay, once again, I'm stuck. So, I may have went a little bit unnecessary on the size. Just a little. Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Tip it over. Because that was not meant to happen. I'm just going to set that back there. The big tires make the make it have a higher center of gravity. Okay. Alright, now we just need to watch it for a flipping car. Whoa. And... that and up with that boom that was awesome and start getting on to some of the bigger rocks and it just goes over that rock with no issues now let's try and hit that right there got over it now this may not end up good but let's try to go over this and rock height is kind of messed up here because it's kind of floating 
just small issues with a huge map. And let's go over this thing. So, and go around it. Ah, uh, here we go. Now, because I like to show the car going over it from the outside cam, I will do that. Now let's go over this. Whoa. Ah, uh, that was kind of weird. With the suspension is kind of going. It feels like it's killing my wheel in the process. And... That was kind of unnecessary to floor it there. I don't think I need a front bumper, do I? No, I don't need a front bumper. It's just... There we go. That's much better. We don't need fenders either, do we? And yeah, we'll keep the front face shut. Nah, we won't. We don't need a hood either. Or th that thing. There we go. Now the front. Now the first thing that it hits is going to be the wheels. So now it can pretty much climb a lot more stuff. So as seen there, climbs stuff a lot easier. And it just eats it. Come on. There we go. Can I imagine how terrible this car is going to be to try and drive on the road? Whoa. Now, this is the mother load of rocks. Now, let's just go in the first gear. And now we're going to try to climb it. Simple. That made it look easy. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in the first person cam so I can get a better view of what's in front of me. And there's that, and then there's that. Now I get to climb this big fat rock. Did I? I think I may have damaged one of the wheels. Yeah, I damaged one of the wheels. Whoa. That's a lot. But what if we want to drive on normal roads? You can do the same thing too. Right here is a ETK 800. It has a few modified parts on it. Nothing crazy. Just the uh, 3 liter inline 6 engine. So that it doesn't sound like a fart cannon. Because the four-cylinder version of this car sounds completely like a fart cannon and personally I don't care if it if the four-cylinder isn't as fast but this one just sounds much better so basically if the four-cylinder sounded as good as this engine I'd be fine driving with the four-cylinder version of this car but this car sounds so much well this engine sounds so much better than the LM4 version and this engine does not have a turbo on it. Just a normal 3 liter inline 6 engine. I've been driving like this with ESC on. can only imagine what it's going to be like if I turn that to sport mode. Now let's see our cornering. Cornering is good. And I got an option of where we should go. Gonna go down this way because we'll probably gain speed because we're going downhill. And then let's try to that. Okay, and boom. Sorry to not get that crash on the outside camera, but you know, your steering wheel's in your lap, so. Um.
Let's just bring it off of that. And then next time we crash, I'll get a different car. So I was trying to go down this road. Hit again the brakes a little bit more. And now right near the highway. But actually I'm gonna do a big fat UE. And I get some car stuff to watch right here. from that side of view of this car being floored right now. And it went around that corner nicely. Which is good. And that was a route I wanted to get on back there. So let's get back there and turn onto that road. Awesome, let's see. Set our own sport gearing. That may do stuff to the gearing to make it better. And it seems a little faster during the shifts. Let, let, let's see if the shifts are faster. Should, should right now. Turning around again, and we want to go onto this road. So now let's what. So it does seem faster to shift with the sport mode. So right now I'm just in drive. Let's see how fast it is to shift. See, it's not the fastest, but it definitely is fast. And now in sport gearing, it just goes. It just shifts really well. This car, it's like. Every time you speed up, it's like you just gotta slam the brakes. But then I'm thinking about getting an excuse to get a new car. So. That was actually a really good jump that I just did. Okay. How, how I did not just die there, I don't know. Okay, that should give me a good enough excuse to get a uh, new car. I have no clue why it wants to lag like this. Like, the lag is real when it comes to, like, resetting this car with by pressing insert. Let's just uh, jump up here real quick. So that we have a place to spawn the car that I'm going to get. So, I'm going to get a car. And right here is the car. So, it's fast. It has nitrous. And, it's fast. And it has nitrous. Yeah, it takes all the box boxes. So now let's just uh Nitrous. Nitrous in three, two, one. That was some egger. car is nice and tight steering. I'm gonna get on the brakes here so I don't completely die around this corner up here. And overall this map is super fun to drive on. Yes, the roads could be smoother, but that's just a tiny thing.
Um, okay, here we go. And Nitrous is engaged. And Nitrous. Get on the brake again. And don't use Nitrous in a corner. Because that is what actually wasting it. And then boom, nitrous. No nitrous. Boom, nitrous. Okay, hey, get it on the brake here. Good thing this car's good brakes. Partially because of the wing. I'll show you that what the a wing uh what the wing does. So watch when I hit the brake. It goes up to uh get Give tons of downforce to try and stop it. So, we're just going to turn the sport mode. And now this can really take off. If we have the corner better now. And I'm definitely going to have to change the volume of this in editing because it is so loud. Ooh. Get on that brake. Is the car still fine? Yeah, I think the car's still fine. I, I don't know how they can make a four cylinder engine sound this good. It just doesn't make sense. So essentially, this is what launch control would look like. And... Somehow, I'm not crashing into any trees yet with this car. And we're on nitrous now. And get on the brake. Uh, not good. Uh, that's not good. Uh, front. So the front drive shaft is broken. Does that mean the rear is? Or no, the rear I don't think is. Eh. Of course not going. Is of course not going to turn because I believe that. Well, actually, it is going to turn, but it's not. So as you can see, it can put power down. So it can put power down. Considering all that damage, with the wheel completely centered, it drives. It it drives relatively straight, but it doesn't drive even close to being straight. But for the type of damage that this car just went through, and turn off ESC because I think that might may, maybe getting in the way of this car, and just randomly went over that. So. I think we should get another car. And so this car, I like it because of the noise that it makes. And this is a mod, the hatchback mod. But like, just listen to the sound. It sounds so weird. And to give this car its full potential, drift mode. Drift mode is the best because, like, you are in a corner and it drifts and does super cool stuff. So that's like, yeah, you just turn into the corner and it goes drift, turn, drift. So it's amazing how well that works. This car is so fast. This is the definition of a hot hatch right here. Almost 140. 140, let's slam on the brakes so that may run off this right here. Yeah, so I think the only thing that this car is missing right now, let's see, what can make it better? Oh, I think I know, nitrous. Yep, that's definitely what this car is missing. Nitrous. And, nitrous.
mattress. Whoa. Okay, that definitely wasn't good. I have no clue what just went flying. I think something under my car went flying in front of me, but let's just go back and look at the bathroom at uh, the uh what happened here. And so what's that right there? I cannot tell what that is, but that looks like a part of my car. Uh, that probably isn't good that I lost that part. And then... That part's the bumper. And there's another part up here that flew. Oh, is that one of my exhaust things? Yeah, it is. That's one of my exhaust pipes. Let's see. Oh no, that is my exhaust pipe because I only have that one. So that means if I was to. This car does, doesn't even make enough smoke to even notice that. So now let's see. If I was. Yeah, it's not driving straight, so. And. The width that this car handles is amazing, but. I am going to need to turn off drift mode because it's kind of kind of gets into the way of driving and now right now we're doing nitrous and no nitrous nitrous 160 170 and right now we're being limited by gearing which sucks but what can you do limited by gearing right now. Just for fun, I'm just gonna hold the nitrous on. Let's see what type of horrific crash we can get into. And into a wall. Well, a tree. And I think that that will be the end of this episode. Hopefully you like this episode, and goodbye.